Welcome to this week's episode of Fiddlehead Features. This past Monday at both our Dover and Alton locations, we launched our fundraiser called Five and Five, and our goal is to raise $5,000 in five weeks for breastcancerstories.org. And I'm here this morning with Executive Director of BreastCancerStories.org, Wendy McCool. Good morning, Wendy. Good morning, how are you? Good, how are you? So Wendy, can you tell us a little bit about, tell us about your organization and what you do in the community? We're a New Hampshire 501c3 nonprofit. Um, we work with the Seacoast Area Hospitals and we provide a lot of wellness programs to their patients. Um, things that are just gonna help to take the stress out of their day-to-day -day life so they can focus their energy on getting better. Um, stress can be a killer and it can cause cancer in and of itself. So we wanna help people with groceries, with how household assistance, whether it's cleaning or repairs, um, car repairs, um, a night out for their family with the children, just something that's really going to just, you know, calm them down a little bit and enjoy you know, the, the life. It's a, a, a life is stressful to start with, but then you toss cancer on top mm -hmm. of that, and it can be absolutely overwhelming. So we are very locally focused. We're our own 501c3 nonprofit. We don't. We're not affiliated with any other organizations. Um, we work with five of the greater Seacoast, New Hampshire, and Maine hospitals, and um, everything is just about keeping them on a path toward wellness. Very good. Excellent. So, Wendy, what was the inspiration behind you starting your organization? Well, my mother was diagnosed. Um, originally um, over 35 years ago and there were no support programs in place whatsoever. In fact, when she left um, the doctor's office, the nurses, or while she was at the doctor's office, the nurses wouldn't even make eye contact with her. And she went out onto the parking lot and sat there and cried because she was sure she was going to die because nobody gave her any other kind of information to help her to, to think otherwise. Um, I think a week went by, she came back, there were not support groups in place and she was such an advocate and she um, worked tirelessly for years to bring more support programs to breast cancer patients um, here in the Seacoast area. And when I was diagnosed um, almost nine years ago, uh, 25 years after she was diagnosed, uh, we sat down and talked about some of the things that people were missing in this area and she really, really inspired me to focus on support. Um, a lot of the doctors back you know, 35 years ago didn't think that patients wanted to talk about it, mm. and they really, really did. Yeah. And she was very inspirational in just getting some of those balls rolling in this area. So I kind of piggybacked off of that, and she was a founding board member of our organization and went through breast cancer a handful of times after that, and um, she's my hero, and she always will be. So where would somebody go to find out more about your company? Um, people can go to breastcancerstories.org, um, or they can go to my breast cancer support Org. They both point back to each other. Breastcancerstories.org is our parent organization. That's how we started about five or six years ago. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Fiddle Features. And come on down and help us support local breast cancer patients.